The PG&E Energy House Calls team traveled to San Anselmo, California to catch up with Lisa and Troy Jones after they recently installed rooftop solar panels. We're here to share some of the tools, resources, and services that are available to support their new solar system. Find out more on this episode of Energy House Calls, presented by PG&E. This is the home of the Jones family. Lisa and Troy have lived in their 1,300 square foot home for nearly 20 years where they raised two children. Lisa is an elementary school teacher while Troy works for a software company in San Francisco. They celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary around the time their solar system was installed six months ago. We're gonna learn a bit more about their installation process and then discuss how they're maximizing their solar investment. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice thank you so you much for sharing your home with Energy House Calls. I love it. Oh, thank you. And it looks like you guys do a lot of stuff around the house, yeah, huh? Yeah, well, after 18 years at the same house, there's always something kind of new to move on to and focus on. We have our pool in the back that takes a lot of upkeep and just recently had our roof replaced. Wow, that's a big job. You know, when we did the roof, we decided it was a perfect time to also go solar. So we put the two projects together, which saved us a lot of time and money. Very cool. Well, let's go see those solar panels. Let's. All right, let's go. Wow, those look fantastic, don't Thank they? Thank you. So now, is this your first energy savings project? Actually, it's not. You know, we've been looking for ways to be energy efficient and to cut costs. We double pane our windows for one thing, and we've upgraded some older appliances and things too. Great. By taking those previous energy saving steps, we can actually determine your energy needs to then accurately size your solar system. And in the end, all of that together is going to hopefully mean cost savings up front. I'm a first grade teacher, and so I like to think of my classroom as a community, and then I like to think of us as being members of this larger community. So truthfully, one other draw for us was having a positive impact on the environment by going solar. That's awesome. That's great, and we also save money. Well, <laughs> that's true. We like that as well. So how did you decide whether to buy or lease your solar system? Well, we really hoped we could purchase the system. I'm not savvy with finances, so I imagined I would have to pay a whole lump sum up front. But we went on the PG&E website and we discovered we could explore solar financing options there. We're a family of a modest income, so every penny does count. And we're really glad that we did the purchase options so that we could add to the value of our home. The PG&D website has helpful information about financing options such as buy versus lease, plus a solar calculator that assists you in estimating the appropriate system size for your home and the savings a solar system could generate. So Carmen, James was our Sun Power Energy Consultant. It was great to know he was there guiding us from start to finish. Yeah, and installation only took a few days, after which Sun Power submitted the interconnection application to connect the system to pg &E's electric grid. I reviewed the application with James, signed it, and then Sun Power took care of the rest. And after submitting paperwork, it usually takes about five to 10 days for pg &E to approve turning on the system. After that approval, Lisa and I came here to the side of the house where her inverter and electrical panel are and switched on her system according to the instructions that Sun Power provides. We saw the green light go on and we knew we were good to go. Getting approval for our system to be up and running went so quickly it actually really surprised us. So it was very smooth and fast. So do you guys feel like it was easy for you to understand your new solar system billing statement? We do. It was a little bit different than our old bill, but actually we were able to go on the PG&E website and watch some videos, and there's even a sample bill that breaks down section by section so that we could understand the new bills. And then there is net energy metering. Is that something you feel comfortable with and understand? Basically, it's keeping track of how much energy we generate versus how much energy we use each month. We pay a small fee, less than $5 a month, to stay connected to the grid, and then it also gives us a snapshot of our monthly usage. So we have have a sense of how much energy we're using month by month. And then at the end of the year, at true up time, we'll get a sense of the energy we've used during the course of the year and any money that we owe at the end of that year is paid at that time. And are you worried about getting a big bill at the end of the year? We know there'll be a balance due, but we also know it'll be so much less than what we used to pay. PG&D provides educational information throughout your first year as a solar customer to help make your solar statements clear and maximize your energy cost savings. 
Now, Lisa, I know that you are an active user of my energy on the PG&E website, right? I am. So how do you use it to help monitor and maintain your solar system? I like to pull up their graphs. It was really helpful to compare past usage to present. I also like that I could set my payments up online. We love that. And then I like to check my energy usage between my net energy metering statements, so I can go online to do that as well. Plus, my energy can actually help identify unexpected drops in performance. And this could stem from shading or issues with your panels that require maintenance and your contractor may have a monitoring service to help you track your energy generation. Signing up for the PG&E residential email newsletter on the Energy House Calls website is a great way to discover new products, rebates, and energy efficient savings tips and tools. So do you guys have any other projects? Yeah, well here's the pool I was telling you about. I would like to get a pool cover to keep the pool nice and insulated. Great idea, I love it. And I think you already saw my latest project, my vegetable garden. Saving energy and that contribution to the environment does matter to us. We still would like to do more to lower our bills. We went for a hybrid car several years back and I think I think the next step would be to go electric. Lisa and Troy are loving their new solar panels, and it looks like they have more exciting energy efficiency plans in the near future to further boost their savings. PG&E supported us in going solar, and it's been a great experience. Thanks for joining us today, and to learn more about solar, go to pge.com solar, and visit energyhousecalls.com to learn more about other energy management opportunities. See you next time on Energy House Calls. PG&E supports solar and is committed to a clean energy future. PG&E, together building a better California.